Okay, the first application we're going to be taking a look at is Iris. Um, this is very similar to Siri, like what you find on the um, iPhone. We um, tell them like voice commands and stuff like that. Um, it's a very similar thing. Let's just test it out and see. What's the weather in London today? You asked what's the weather in London today. And it repeats it back to you, then it just searches on the internet or... Today and today, the temperature changes between low points of 18 degrees And it gives you this like, big paragraph the about the weather and everything's going to happen. 64 degrees F and 81 degrees F. Let's turn it down for a bit, but you get the general idea. Out. You could also do voice commands as well, say for example, call home. I have home same with my contacts. Yes. And then it will just start calling home straight away. But I'm going to end it. And it just starts calling home straight away. You could actually do uh, voice commands as well. I think this works for text messages, which is really good. And you could also ask it, uh, questions like, um, let's see. What is a capacitor? You asked what is a capacitor. It's just like capacitor. if you're doing... It searches it up and gives you like a brief description of what it is. You can do this for anything. This is great for like if you're at school or you're doing a project and you don't know the or you don't know the meaning of anything. You could just go to this, input your voice command, and it automatically searches. Like I said, it also does voice commands. So you could uh, call her. I think you could send messages as well. I'm not, I haven't tried that yet, but you just get the idea of Siri. Um, it's a really good application. This is still in alpha, so. Um, might not work properly or might not have all the features um, like what um, Siri has but it's still a very good voice app application you can pick this up free from the Android marketplace okay, the next application we're taking a look at is sketch this is a picture edit application so you can edit your pictures that you currently have stored on your phone you can take a new picture we're just going to take a quick picture taking a quick picture so if you want to save or discard it you save it and then from here you could have a drawer on it you could uh, like add little pointing buttons, so you could point to something and add text and you could add text here, you just go to this which is really good and you could also like crop it, resize it uh, and then from there you could either save it or and then share it as like um, an email or through Twitter or Facebook or anything like that and this is a really good um, high quality application you can see like it's not distorted or anything like that like the, we go back to the right, and the right is very crisp and very clear. And you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. The next application we take a look at is Wind Up Night. You can see the graphics are really nice. Um, it's like you have like a, the night itself is like a little wind up toy. You can see like the little um, wind up thing on, on his back. And it's just like a running game where you just have to keep running over the obstacles, over the gaps and stuff. Let's start up again, show you properly. And you have different obstacles to like try and avoid like spikes and you have keys and coins that you can collect to get you more points. You get the general idea of it. The graphics are really nice and really well done. Really sharp um, graphics. You can see you've got a bunch of different environments and stuff to collect. The game itself is pretty good. Let's play through the level. You see the graphics are really nice, you see like the dust um, coming off his feet. Really uh, good job in the graphics. And those spikes there you have to try and avoid. And occasionally you do like miss it or just like mess up and you drop in. But you get the general idea of it, you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. Okay so the next application we'll be taking a look at is Muffin Knight. And you're a knight and you just have to try to stop the uh, sheep from like dropping in this little hole. You could do that by firing arrows at them or you could collect these muffins and get special abilities. You could also play this online as well, which is really good. Just keep track of collecting these muffins, make sure you yourself don't drop in. And you just keep killing the sheep, getting as much experience points as you can. And you do get like uh, different kinds of sheep, ones that go a lot faster than this, so you have to react a lot faster. And also make sure the sheep doesn't uh, actually touch you or you have to... Uh, start the level again and it just shows you all your points and you can pick this game up free from the Android marketplace this application we're taking a look at is Halloween prank this is a great way to like scare your friends or anything like that it, it pretends to do like a little mini test I'll show you 
and that to try to tap the circle when it turns red it says you didn't do it properly and you just have to try redo it and then it does that you know if, if your friend doesn't know or whoever you're um, pranking doesn't know it's really good they think they're just doing a normal game and then this scary face comes out the volume Go straight up to maximum and the phone, st the phone starts to vibrate that all adds to the effect you know just to make them more scared it's a really good application if you just want to prank your friends you know they think they might be just doing a normal game you could just prank them with this it's a great application and you can pick this up free from the android marketplace okay the next application we're taking a look at is stick fighter 2 and what you have to do you tap that button here to jump and the one over here to punch them and you just have to try jump over the ledges and jump over the different obstacles and you just have to keep punching these uh, other red dudes that are in the way and you get like special abilities like that where you just fly over everything else which is really good graphics aren't too great, there's nothing uh, special about it very simple you can just keep flying across and just beating enemies and see how much uh, uh, the distance that you could get on the game um, it's really good, you can pick this up free from the android marketplace and the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is the live wallpaper. The live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is, so we can get it loaded up. Christmas live wallpaper, very simple. Um, set it. You have like the snow in the background. You got smoke coming from that little chimney in the house. The sun rising up, and also you have the moon rising up as well once it's gone around in the full rotation. Very simple, um, nice live wallpaper. If you just want to, you know, it's come out to Christmas, you might just want to try it out really good the graphics are really nice and clean and also want to show you one more live wallpaper really quickly as a little bonus um live wallpaper is if i could find it i think it's this one powder drops nice little like water effects live wallpaper to have is that if you got the swimming pool towels at the bottom and you got the water at the top you could just tap it and you have like this uh, rippled effect it's really nice you can pick this up free as well and that's about it for the video don't forget to leave the um, your comments below your recommendations for the next episode and um subscribe if you want to see more videos and thanks for watching